ओके गाइस सो नाउ वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट सेट एसोसिएटिव मेमोरी मैपिंग टेक्निक वेल इट इज ऑफन कॉल्ड एज के वे सेट एसोशिएटिव मेमोरी मैपिंग टेक्निक नाउ हियर द के इज अगेन अ न्यू क्वांटिटी द के इज एनी पॉजिटिव इंटीजर दैट शोज number of blocks that can be accommodated under one set okay so um, the whole cache memory is again divided into number of set so um, k is number of blocks in one set or else you can also say that it is the size of set in terms of number of blocks okay so we have uh, certain data for example the main memory of m word Uh, uh, cache memory of c words and block of size small b words for a, a set associative memory mapping uh, we require a small p small p is number of main memory blocks that we can get by uh, this formula which is m by b okay and q is number of cache memory blocks and that would be c divided by b here uh, again a new quantity arrives which is small s small s is number of set in cache memory and uh, that we can represent by small q divided by k uh, small q is number of blocks in cache memory and k is size of a set in terms of blocks so uh, we'll get particular number of set in cache memory so now cache memory is divided into the set and uh, in small s we have a number that how many set are uh, combined to make one cache memory okay so let's see now this assume that this is the word sorry this is the address again uh, this is the address and the size of address would be log m bits this is main memory address as usual it will be divided from the left hand side and the first part would be offset this part is same throughout all three configuration of memory mapping uh, whether it is associative direct or set associative and this the first first part would be always uh, the offset and the size is log b bits the second part is set index and the size is log s bits the third part which is tag size of the tag portion will be log p divided by s bits okay so that's how we divide one whole address of main memory into 
थ्री डिफरेंट पार्ट इन केस ऑफ सेट एसोसिएटिव और के वे सेट एसोसिएटिव मेमरी सो लेट्स हैव अ लुक ऑन एन एग्जांपल here we have main memory of size 4 gb cache memory of size 64 mb and block size is 16 bytes okay so uh, here one word is uh, basically one byte so uh, the memory set associative mapping that we are looking is a two way set associative mapping so each set consists of two blocks so a small p would be sorry let's do something okay so small p would be number of main memory blocks and that would be 4 gb divided by 16b and that would be 2 to the power 28 q is number of cache memory blocks that is 64 mb divided by 16 b and that is um 2 to the power 6 2 to the power 20 divided by 2 to the power 4 and that would be 2 to the power 20 we also have to find small s here small s is number of set in cache memory so it is 2 to the power 22 divided by 2 that is 2 to the power 21 so this is the main memory address of 32 bit log 4g bits that means log 2 to the power 32 equal to 32 bits address of main memory from the left hand side we have offset part and the size of that offset part would be log 16 bits so that would be 4 bits okay the next part would be set index and the set index will be of size log 2 to the power 21 equal to what we have discussed in a formula log uh, log s bits so that would be 21 bits and the remaining bit will be tag bits uh, these are the set index bits tag bit uh, would be log p divided by s so uh, that would be 2 to the power 28 divided by 2 to the power 21 and so 7 so 7 bits that's how we find bit arrangement of set associative cache mapping okay now let's compare direct mapping and set associative cache mapping uh, here we should note that uh, the associativity or the capacity of set is k okay so uh, this is kind of arrangement that is uh, made in case of direct cache mapping so uh, in offset we have 
log two bits uh, in uh, cash block index we have log q bits and in tag bit we have log t by q bits uh, if you want to convert the arrangement which you have previously designed for direct mapping and uh, you have to now convert this into uh, set associative or i should say k way set associative uh, mapping then uh, all you need to do is the first part that is offset will remain intact there will be no change absolutely no change in case of uh, direct mapping or set associative or associative that will be remain same now the next part that is cash block index so the cash block index would be changed into the set index by just what you have to change uh, you have to minus certain bits so the size of uh, set index will be less compared to size of, size of uh, cash block index so uh, that would be log q minus log k bits okay and you will got log s bits and that minus bit we have uh, minus uh, bit log 2 log k bit we have minus from here and the same amount of bit will be adding in the tag bit of direct cache mapping okay so uh, by that we will get the this one this part the tag bit of set associative mapping okay so that's how you convert from one direct mapping to set associative mapping for the same configuration and for set size k.